Coach Oliver from North Carolina Central steals the show at MIAC Media Days in multiple ways. We're going to talk about it, what it means, and how this continues to build the momentum for the college football season in both conferences, SWAG and MIAC, after the bumpers. <laughs> he was great. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsey Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and notification bell because we upload all the time. Now, the MEAC Media Day was today, uh, and it was pretty uneventful. You know, the MEAC and Media Days typically are pretty uneventful unless somebody or some someone says something that is very, very interesting. And the star of the show was Trey Oliver from Coach Trey Oliver from North Carolina Central, the defending reigning. MEAC co-champs <laughs> and HBCU national champions as they won the 2022 Cricket Celebration Bowl. Now, Coach Oliver had a couple of sound bites. He is, first of all, Coach Oliver has been golden behind the mic for a long time. I really noticed this because I didn't I didn't follow North Carolina Central a ton in 2022 up until the Celebration Bowl. And when they won the Celebration Bowl, he let us know how he felt. And he laid it all out there on the line. And that's why I was like, yo, this dude is awesome. Then at their celebration for winning the national championship, at their parade, he once again was great behind the mic. And he did not disappoint today in multiple ways, both on the stage with Jay Walker and Tiffany Green of ESPN and with our guy from uh, uh, Ray, our guy Ray from Urban Sports. He once again let us know. Now, during the uh, urban sports scene, I want to make sure I get that right. Urban sports scene, Ray Rogers from Urban Sports Scene caught a great soundbite from Coach Trey Oliver. We're going to get to that in a second. But when he was on stage with his players, you know, Nash, you know, Players of the Year, Aeneas uh, Williams Award winner, Khalil Baker, and then Celebration Bowl MVP, and you know, MIAC Offensive Player of the Year, all the accolades, and Davius Richard, friend of the show, by the way. He let us know, you know, I think it was either Tiffany or Jay asked him about Howard's, it had to be Jay, Howard's co-championship rings, right? Jay is a Howard alum. Howard technically were the co miac champions. And Coach Oliver was like, what kind of rings they get? Some class rings? <laughs> Some rings I don't know about. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he had a, and it's a stark contrast than what Coach Larry Scott, Howard University's head coach, came on this here platform and said, it's like, yo, we're co-champions. We didn't make the rules. And yes, we proudly wear our rings. We proudly display this trophy that's in our trophy case. He said that right here on this platform. And he stood behind all of that. He said, I wish we could have had a championship game. Well, Coach Trey Oliver a little differently about that let's go to our guy mr ray rogers he caught the perfect soundbite from coach trey oliver let me go ahead and play that for you because this was awesome now ray was asking coach oliver, <laughs> coach oliver he was asking just give you some context ray was asking coach oliver about a miac championship game his thoughts on a miac championship game and well this is what coach oliver had to say let's take a listen Game. Should there be a MEAC Conference Championship game to end the season to see who goes to the celebration bowl? Let me tell you this. We play every team in our, in our conference, okay? Mm -hmm. they, we didn't need a conference championship game. We need a conference championship game. Okay. But 50 points up on Howard University. What else? What, what we need to play again? Who going to come back and see that? Would you come back and pay to see that? <laughs> And I love Coach they, Larry they, Scott. They, Larry they Scott changed. is a great coach. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable resume. All the places he's been. Howard is an outstanding program. But at the end of the day, we were a better football team. I understand the rules had to change, and, and the commissioner, they, they tweaked all that stuff. But, uh, no, nah, we don't need a conference championship game in the 16s, no. So, so I <laughs> Coach Oliver is golden, as I said. He gets behind the mic, and he is unapologetically – authentically himself he's like yo we hung 50 on those cats the hell we need to play again for now ray the good guy that he is tried to sneak in and say you know things change which things do change we have seen teams you know sometimes get blown out in the first matchup running back with a title or a championship on the line or whatever 
in the same season, same two teams, no injuries, no nothing, play again, and the loser from the first matchup wins the second matchup. So Ray tried to slide in and say, things change. You know, he tried to slide it in there. He's like, yo, things change. Coach Oliver wouldn't hear none of that. He's like, yo, we hung 50 on them. We beat the hell out of them. Who would come back to see that game? Would you? Then he put it on Ray. Would you come and see that? I wouldn't, you know, basically like I wouldn't, you know, because I, in his mind is like, theoretically, this is how it's supposed to land. It's supposed to be like, you know, <laughs> we beat the hell out of them the first time. We do it a second time. Our guys are still our guys. Khalil Baker, Davius Richard, and the rest of those guys over in North Carolina Central, they're still here. And, you know, I loved every bit of this because, you know, if you listen to this, being humble is overrated. I say it all the time. Being humble is overrated. And if you're the champs, you get to talk like the champs. You get to walk like the champs. And you get to continue to gloat and boat and because you are the champs. And Coach Oliver is the champs. And not only Coach Oliver and North Carolina Central, that is, are the champs. And not only are they the champs, they bring back 90% of their championship roster. So if you're a guy with a team, they just ran ramp shot over the conference. You did lose the conference game. You lost to South Carolina State. And during his interview with Ray, I want you to go watch that. He said, yo, I owe them too. So we got Howard, sir. He said, we got a few teams circled. We got the team from up the street talking about North Carolina a t We've got Howard because he's like, yo, y'all keep both walking around like y'all the champs. We the champs. And he said, we got South Carolina State circled because they done beat us, beat us the last three years. So. <laughs> and I love everything about that because once again, being humble is overrated. And when you're the champs and you return, I don't know, 20 out of 22 starters, 90% of your roster from your championship season where you scored over 40 points in the championship game, that being the celebration bowl against a favorite in Jackson State. Yeah, talk heavy. Talk heavy. I love everything about that. And you get a chance to prove it on the field. Coach Scott and Howard. There's no way they don't hear that. There is no way they don't hear Ray's interview with Coach Oliver or they were there at the MEAC conference champ conference uh, media day. They heard Coach Oliver laugh at their class rings. <laughs> I don't know. You couldn't miss it because Jay asked them a couple of times. He kept saying, who? Who? What kind of rings they got? They ain't got the same rings that we got. You know, not only these MEAC rings, but over here, these celebration bowl rings. <laughs> you get to talk heavy, coach. And coach, guess what? You get a chance to defend and repeat as champions, but also you get a chance to do it against Howard because you are going to play Howard. Like he said, every week is a championship week. We play every team in our conference. We don't miss a game. There's only six teams. There's no need for a conference championship game. I disagree, but that is what it is. With only six teams, I understand exactly what he's saying. If you only got six teams and you play every single team, I get it. I prefer conference championship game. The fans would prefer a conference championship game and more teams, et cetera, et cetera. But Coach Oliver, you know what I'm saying? He's he's standing on what he got this, what he's standing on. He's standing on the fact that he believes, well, he said he knows his team was the best last year, and he believes his team this year is the best. And guess what? Coach Scott over at Howard returns like 90% of his roster too. 20, 21 out of 22 starters, too, 19 or 20 starters. And they get to do it all over again this season. And this continues to build the momentum and build the hype of the HBCU season, of the MEAC season, of the North Carolina Central season, and of the Howard University season. And this is awesome, man. But shout out to Coach Oliver for being the star of MEAC Media Day. Because MEAC Media Day was cool. And most media days are just cool. Like, you, you don't expect to get a whole lot from the media day. And you're only up there for a few minutes. They ask him a couple of silly questions along with the football questions. So there's only so much you can take from it. The best sound bites come from the interviews by uh, guys like Ray Rogers, the interviews by guys like the Blue Bloods, and the interviews by guys like Dr. Uh, Cavill and, and different people, different media outlets, HBCU Game Day or whoever's there on the ground where they get a few extra minutes and ask them some more poignant questions. And this was golden. Ray called a golden clip. Ray caught a golden clip. Because Coach Oliver gave his team, you do two things when you talk trash. You do two things at once. You motivate your team. You let your team know you have that much confidence in them and that much confidence in their ability and what they're going to be able to do this season. Not last year, because last year don't matter no more. This season. And you give bulletin board material to the other team. And that's what makes it perfect. That's what makes, you know, 
you know, and, and people feel however they feel about this clip. You know, there's some people that love it. Obviously, you got our guys over at HBCU Nightly, Josh. Joshua Sims loves this kind of stuff because that's his coach and his team and his alum. Uh, he's an alum of that school, and they won a the championship, and they're going to hang their hat on that championship. You can't never take it away from them. But then you have some folks that think it's arrogance, that think it's cocky, that think Coach, coach Oliver talks too much. I love it. Being, being humble is overrated. I loved what he said. And I love that he stood on it. I love that he said it on the big stage and to a, a smaller platform. I love it all because he really believes it. He really means it. He means what he says and says what he means. And this is awesome. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Coach Trey Oliver, under Carolina Central, the Eagles, defending Celebration Bowl champions. Had a lot to say at MEAC Media Day. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button before you get out of here. Thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at jlighty7. That is on Twitter and Instagram at jlighty7. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time. Peace.